people have suffered during the previous administration. Um, you suffered as well during the campaign period. Yes. There were restrictions, clamped yes. down civil liberties, mm. um, radio stations, TV stations were shut down, among other things. I heard there is even a petition uh, putting pressure on you to act. Some people say they even want a pound of flesh. What is your <laughs> message to them, Mr. President? No, look, all I can say is that there was a failure of leadership. Failure of leadership, sometimes violence, was used to scare people and along the way commit heinous crimes. There was a perception that if you use force, then you stay in power. Mm. We have proved that wrong because I could not access, as you rightly say, airspace using my own arrangements, my own facilities. That's taken away my right, my freedom of movement. How I move by bicycle, by walking, by air, is no one's business. But that was taken away from us. So many negatives. I'm sure you remember, at one point I couldn't enter a town. Mm -hmm. My own town? And I asked the question, why should, not, why should I not enter this town? Since when did I need a passport to enter this town? I don't want to continue articulating those issues, but I want to say that that's over. Mm. Citizens should be comfortable that that is over. These restrictions have already been lifted even before we are sworn in, mm. but we'll reinforce the rule of law, which I talked about. Mm -hmm. We'll reinforce respect for people's rights. Mm -hmm. We will also make sure that we take away draconianism. There will be no abuse of the Public Order Act. The way it is, as amended by the Supreme Court, after a transgression on the interpretation of the Public Order Act, one courageous lady went to court and got a Supreme Court ruling to interpret the Public Order Act properly, which was deliberately being misconstrued that you need a permit from the police to hold a meeting. The Supreme Court ruled that you don't need a permit. You don't need permission. You don't need anyone to authorize you or not. You just need to notify the police. Because we're victims of it, we know how it hurts. We know. Mm -hmm. We will not allow other people to go through the pain we've gone through. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, what role do you think Zambia can play under your leadership in promoting democracy within the Sadiq region and by extension Africa, as you mentioned? We think that we have already sent a signal mm -hmm. that we are a child of democracy. We are a product of democracy. A very, basically, you can call us, we achieved what Napoleon couldn't, a mission impossible. Mm -hmm. You are arrested this way, that way, that you can't campaign, you still win the way we want. So it means we sent a message to the people that opportunities are on the flip side. Here there was basically squalor, poverty, hunger, unemployment. The year, no safe medicines. Here, essentially, violence. Here is the EUs. Here is the opportunity. That's what we offered. If we're a product of democracy, free will of the people, and we got elected under all odds, against all odds, Honestly, we are a good example of, a, of a, a, how democracy must evolve, even under brutal conditions. So I think what we, we've done, what we did, what the people of Zambia did, my brother, in the last couple of days, of course culminating mm -hmm. you know, over years, building up to what it was, I'm sure other African countries are watching. And they're saying, no, we can do it the way Zambia did it and we would like to support, to share our experiences with those African countries. 